Introducing Genius, the Genome Identification Universal System developed by Cosmos ID for rapid metagenomic community analysis using shotgun sequence reads and our two proprietary algorithms, Five Vector Comparator Engine and Enmer Comparator Engine. Now let's walk through a project, starting with the Enmer CE algorithm to demonstrate how a metagenomic sample is analyzed in Genius. You can load sequence data from your computer or you can FTP transfer your data to the Cosmos ID server. Your data can be in FASTA, FASTQ, or QSeq format. Genius has multiple libraries to choose from, and you can select the bacterial, viral, antibiotic resistance, or virulence factor library to compare your sample against. MRCE uses a phylogenetic tree-based approach for species, subspecies, and strain level identification. For each strain or species level call, you can see a particular tree structure and shape. By rolling up from the leaf where the strain is identified to an upper level node, you can see the consistency in scoring, which gives you confidence in that particular call. For viewing final calls, you can transform the results from the tree to a tabular format with all of the parameters that aid in the identification process. In Genius, there are multiple ways to visualize your results. One example is Krona, an interactive dynamic pie chart that allows you to focus on taxonomic groups that you are interested in and see the relative distributions of all members within the group. Now let's look at our other algorithm, 5VCE, to see how it analyzes the same sample with comparable results. For the sake of time, we ran the sample beforehand, and now we are going to retrieve the analysis output. The power of 5VCE is that it uses a huge number of biomarkers that are shared or unique across taxonomic levels, and every possible genomic attribute has been used to make an identification. With these biomarkers and genome size, we have the opportunity to normalize relative abundance so it represents actual cellular abundance. In Genius, once you have identified a community of organisms, we can assign some statistical values to validate those calls. Biostat is a package included in Genius that can be run to assign point estimates and confidence intervals for each organism identified and these statistics can be merged into the final results with the original calls. Now that we have analyzed a single sample using our two independent algorithms with phylogenetic and statistical validation, Genius offers the opportunity to merge all of these validated results into one single file. This file shows the combined analysis in a simplified yet informative format. You can see that the majority of the species in the sample were identified by both of our algorithms, whereas a few minor species were identified by either 5VCE or NMRCE. In any identification method, there is always a trade-off between sensitivity and specificity. In Genius, by combining the results from two independent analyses, we improve the sensitivity of detection without compromising the specificity. We just looked at how you would work with an individual sample. Typically, you have many samples to run. Genius has a batch mode that allows you to load those samples and run them at the same time. Not only that, you can also do comparative analyses between multiple samples to indicate informative, correlated, or uncorrelated features. We are loading infant gut microbiome samples from the local drive. 
This data set was generated from fecal samples collected on postnatal days 15 to 24 from a female infant. We are grouping the samples based on whether they were in early or late days. The samples are merged into one matrix based on the parameter of your choice. So you can do comparative analyses like principal component analysis. PCA analysis of the infant gut microbiome demonstrated that there are two different populations which become more distinguishable based on the days the samples were taken. Similarly, you can visualize such relationships using heat map functions. As you see, this bi-directional heat map reinforces PCA analysis, demonstrating two distinct clusters. Additionally, it also indicates that the microbiome of the infant gut is changing over time. You can export and save these high-quality figures and tables to be used in publications or reports.